Alright, what's going on everyone? So unfortunately because this is getting put to YouTube, I can't actually have the uh, the music turned up. But just imagine it, or play your own. So what we're going to be doing today is previewing some of the 2.2 stuff. Uh, we're going to be playing Hunter Zinge as Warlord Zinge. I intend to go through a lot of the new content in different playthroughs up until release. Uh, so just keep in mind that what you're seeing right now is an early version of everything. There's a lot that still needs to be done. Um, nope. I don't know if that's just my tablet. Okay. So, yeah, stream still fine. So, uh, sorry. But yeah, so the Zinj faction is the one that is closest to being done right now. Maldrude is not quite as close. Uh, Eridu is probably the farthest. But they also have a bit more of the new content in them. Uh, as far as things that we still need to actually make. Zinj, uh, stuff that we've already made or uh, that was a bit easier to make. Plus he, he had the most set up GC stuff so there was less to do as far as that goes. Not sure why my tablet is screwing up the stream. Oh, it looks like it's trying to download updates for stuff. This is not the time. Okay, so I guess we'll get into it. I'm going to play on Admiral. Uh, anyone who wants to see more than what we do today, eh, I'm going to keep playing through the mod, obviously, but. Galducat also did a preview slash interview with me, so you can go watch that as well. But, let's get into it. And again, the chat's going to be open the whole time. I have my tablet open for that. So, questions, anything like that, I can address them as we're going through. And, hopefully, since it's on the stream, no one will be confused by what I'm talking about. So, there's no reason to have all these forces stay up here. Uh, this is some stuff that's going to change. Uh, there's There might be a few issues with trade routes because that's still being edited. Hopefully everything will still be accessible. It's something that we were working on fairly recently. We just had a sort of meeting uh, where we're discussing what we're going to do with each one, but there we go. So we'll try to keep them there. Coordinate received. All ahead for Engage thrusters. So as you can see, Zinja's hero roster is a bit bigger. Uh, we have Tubbo the Hut, which has got to be someone's stupid joke in the EU. Uh, we don't actually have an icon for the Nightcaller yet, but it's there. Um, the Empire of the Hand will be getting... Contact New ground and space or er, space units for sure. I don't know uh, Building under construction. if we're going to be doing anything for ground for them. Constructing unit. Some droidicas. Telos. Should be able to build Lucre Hawks after that. Also be able to build to recruit another hero. Uh, Angela Crin. She works for the Corpus Sector Authority, which is why she doesn't spawn for Zinj immediately. But that's what's going on with that. I would like to try to get Columnex pretty soon. How's complete. this fleet looking? But yeah, as you can see, a lot of Zinj's stuff is uh, ships that already existed in the mod, so they have a few uh, new pieces of content that aren't with other factions, but a lot of their stuff is a mix of Imperial and Rebel Tech. Uh, Hey, Revan. But yeah, so for Angel of Death's question, the Empire of the Hand gets... Uh, it's definitely getting the Intego in 2.2. It's also going to get Enter the... Command. Uh, Armed and ready. The other two new Empire of the Hand capital ships that we're working on for both the San Anse and the ICW. Uh, they're called the Ephodio, which is a utility ship, and the Underway. Peltast, which is a... Uh, all power to the like engine. A, I guess glass cannon sort of artillery ship. I guess the closest thing, honestly, in function would be the one with the special Moving cannon the from the, the consortium, Zan Consortium. 
Uh, and yeah, I'll try to build some gladiators right after this battle too. Moving I don't up. think I have any in this Choose your reinforcements. I don't even know how much is in this. Enemy forces uh, ahead. There's some fighters. Got that taken care On of. My way. All right, so this should be a fairly easy battle. But yeah, so the Alaria also is going to be in 2.2. That's something that I don't think. No, it's not in 2.1. It was made for Ascendancy. It's going to be like a pseudo carrier. Uh, so there's also going to be the auto defense station and the Iero as well as Tycos. So this is all stuff that we haven't actually shown yet. But it's stuff that we're working on for 2.2 and also Ascendancy 1.2. We are victorious. Or 1.1 rather. But yeah. Stupidly easy. Uh, I'm on Calamari. Alright, so we'll take Droidicas, C Lav, these guys. On my way. These guys. Setting course. Uh, War Tank, you might need to refresh your stream. Gravin... Tactical battle imminent. Oh, I control the planet up here. Well, they're not attacking with anything useful, so... Uh, ICW and Ascendancy are probably not going to come out at the same time. Um... Just because... There will be different amounts of work that have to be done, and it's more likely that Ascendancy is going to come out first. It'll be fairly close because a lot of the stuff that needs to be done, as far as art goes, is fairly similar. I don't know why they just sent a. Ordered, sir. That's stupid. Right away. But... Which is this map We've located the enemy. Because you can actually destroy large asteroids now, and it'll turn into more asteroid fields, but. I think we'll need to go through and add more asteroids to the maps. Corvette, moving out. Guns are not ready. really a lot of them. Dreadnought crews are ready. But yeah, so a lot of the gameplay stuff for Ascendancy is already set up. I've it's a lot easier to code stuff in to use models for other stuff in Sin, so I'm actually using placeholder assets and getting all the coding done. So for Ascendancy it's more of a just plugging ERT in as soon as it's done. And for ICW, there's a lot more Tactical other stuff imminent. that you typically have to do. Uh, for, oh, you're going to see some gladiators now. But we'll obviously keep everyone posted as we go through development. Uh, Robin should be done to Bellador soon. And then I think there's like 15 different models and skins we need to work on for... Ascendancy, and then probably five more for ICW, because there's some ground units and one or two space units that aren't going to be in Ascendancy that do need to be done for ICW. So like some of the Maldrude units uh, and Arido units aren't going to be in there they are. ICW, or Ascendancy, obviously, but we do need to have them for ICW. Frigate reporting. Uh, there's some stuff that's actually going to be used from the base FOC. I don't know if we're going to be using their models or if we're going to try to redo them at some point. But uh, there's one or two consortium units that will be used by Maldru. Is there zero? There's the glad. Oh, that's not glad here. That's the glad here. Oh, there's a Crusader. So there's one of the Zen Consortium units. The other one, I can never remember if it's the Great or the Aggressor. It's the one that's not got the special cannon thing. But, yeah, so there's also stuff like the AAT for, I think that's Singed and Maldrude get the AAT. But, obviously, ground units not going to be used in Ascendancy. Uh, the Maldrude with Raptors thing, that's just because of early coding stuff. They won't have it when it's done. I think right now they're using, at least for starting forces, they spawn with 
some of Zinj's units because we coded Zinj's stuff first. I think that's why. I'm not sure if the ones they build have it still. Zinj actually uses a surprising amount of tech that is usually considered as rebel. I believe there were a few X-Wings that he ended up with. Yeah, it's probably the Cadell. Part of it is that they're coded differently in the game than or in the game files and they're actually than the names they use in game. So that throws me off sometimes. I'd like to actually like, all we've done with the particles so far is the resizing. I'd like to ultimately make some edits to make them function a bit better at the scale, because they were obviously designed to use a different scale, so if we can get stuff that uh, looks more like it was intended to be at the scale, that's probably better. Oh shit, my call. For those who haven't seen it yet, actually, there's also a news post up on our site and mod database, I believe they approved it, where you can see uh, some of the plans for the Pentastar alignment heroes. Yeah, the Nightcaller was a special kind of crawling corvette. It had tractor beams and some other stuff. Shit, it's gonna die, so... Well, there's a hero game. I'd like to ultimately change some of the colors a little bit. as it is, uh, Araidu being white kind of messes stuff up, and especially for people who are colorblind, it might be a bit different, or a bit difficult to tell between Zinj and Maldruk, because it's just different shades of red, but... Alright, I think we're good. Choose your reinforcements. I think that's almost everything. We'll probably need to kill off the blast boats, but... Obviously, a lot of the text isn't done yet for the newer stuff. That should say Greater Maldrude retreating away. Alright, yeah, it's just the blast boats. Alright. Enemy fleet approaching. Tactical battle imminent. I don't know why the rebels are just sending such terrible fleets. I mean, I'm not sure what Trandoshan slavers would really add for anyone. That was like a small part of the single galactic battleground campaign that ended pretty quickly honestly and the enemy is approaching. it's not like it had a huge galactic impact or trend ocean slavers really no. okay. did much because like all it would be is another type of infantry that honestly the remnant doesn't really need 
Hailed to 108. In general, we're trying to adjust stuff to be a bit brighter on the map, but... Part of it's also the background used to be really dark. Destroyer here. Well, they've actually been much better recently than they have in the past. We've made some change to the AI, so it doesn't happen as much where you get like a wave of single fleet. It still does happen, but uh, especially from like Maldrud and Zinj, they're usually pretty good with sending really big fleets. There have been a few games where I've been testing the Maldrud and just got completely wrecked by Zinj early because I was spending all my money trying to capture stuff that, or build stuff that was to test it. But like we are doing stuff like uh, bounty hunters and that sort of thing being recruitable as like major heroes. It's just having a, just an, as sort of I guess a unique infantry unit, there's not really much they'd bring to the table. Oh, I have no infantry. Transmission received. Receiving location. We'll take Columnex and then I guess we'll send Zinj in and try to take out some of these heaping planets. Invasion commencing. But yeah, part of with the map and some of the other changes, I've, like I'm trying to work with weight and get the UI in general and all of the other stuff to be a bit more, or a bit less depressing. Reporting. Awaiting orders. Moving out. Advancing. So we've put stuff back into squads. Squad. If you watched the Golducat preview, they were out of squads, they were individually commanded. Right away, sir. Uh, as you can see, it's not Squad. perfect. Advance. But because Ready. containers can't use the locomotor types we needed for the running and gunning stuff, we had to Choose your reinforcements. do this if we wanted to keep them in squads. But at least this way, even if it's not the prettiest thing, it's got some decent, uh, like it's basically right the best away. we can do for gameplay, which is a bit more important. Moving so it's that unfortunate that we don't really have the selection circles and they sort of go to formation yes, a bit. But it does let them do what they need to do as far as being able to shoot while yes, running, sir. which makes infantry a lot more useful. Scouting. And uh, still keeps them in squads, so it's a bit easier to manage. But Roger. we'll try to take this, and we'll have the Joyica coming up right on them there. And these are the Joyica Mark 1s, they're not the We've FOC 1s. There's that landing zone. You should be able to walk up the street here. Those droidicas are going to blow up. Ready I know to it. go. On my way. Alright. Battalion standing by. Decent shape so far. They're also like Awaiting the oldest orders. models in the mod. Engaging enemy. Reporting in. Heading out. Fallout troops. Let's move out. Affirmative. Target confirmed. Uh, where are the time on? There we go. Ready. Roll out. Roger that. Offhand, I honestly don't remember a lot of them. Awaiting orders. 
Like there's the Teradoc Let's brothers. Go. Uh there's the Leona Leonia Tavira. I can't remember where all the eyes are in her name. But um But she grants access to a lot of pirate units. Uh, there's some ideas I'm playing with as far as some of the hut units that are used in the Second Galactic Civil War, but have apparently been around for centuries that we might give them access to. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it's just something we're playing with. Uh, but she'd be how they get access to like the consortium units because it's like pirate connections. Um, You'll, that's stuff that we'll do a lot more news posts on. The same way that we did the uh, Zinge update and the, just did the Panastar Lyman Hero update. We'll clear the way for uh, we'll, Anticipating no as soon as a lot of more of the art assets are done for the from Aldrude, we'll post a few of those as well. Reporting. Keep going. D two B over. On it, sir. Ready. So model change is planned for the Executor, like with other space Deploying. units. We would like to redo the executor model. The one in the in ICW is actually the base games model. The one in Sins is ours, but we're still not happy with it, so we're not putting it into ICW yet. So if we do any change to that, it'd be after 1.1 1. 1 and after 2.2. Uh, it is on our list, but right now we're focusing on the newer content as opposed to redoing it. Because we've spent uh, this development cycle, we've redone the Bellator and also the... Uh, and we're redoing the Eclipse model, so we don't want to do too many SSDs at once. They take a lot of time and resources to remake. Unit destroyed. I honestly can't remember who the other heroes are for Melgrude right now. Because there's a few that are planned that are in yet, and I'm not sure which are in and which aren't, honestly. Araidu has a few that are uh, some bigger figures from right after Endor, uh, including the incompetent commander who sort of messed up the Imperial Retreat. When is 1.1 being released for your sins? Scanning for really, it's impossible to say. Ready for uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. Weapons ready. With, Almost oh God, there. That's sterile. Scanning the area. I copy. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with. Uh, we need to change some of the turret bones on this because right now only one will shoot. Uh, just because they share bone names, that's a pretty easy fix. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. I'm gonna blow up my own units. But yeah, so there's, like I said, about 15 models that we need to redo, plus uh, or do, plus a lot of coding that needs to get done and testing. Ideally, we'll get it, at least one of the mods out this year, but hey, again, I don't know how much time I'm going to have to work on it. I'm looking for a job right now, uh, and depending on like, if I don't find a job, I guess it's better for you guys, because then I will be broke, but I will be working on the mod a lot. So like that all depends on that. Immobilizer frigate standing by. Uh, what did I just build? 